Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be about the, the weld tool. Somebody emailed me, and they were having trouble welding, and there's basically two ways to do that, but what we're going to do, we're going to select both these words. I'm going to left-click my mouse on the no field, right-click on red, and I, I always draw in hairline. Now, we need to, before we weld it, we need to move that W down, so I'm going to do these two different ways. I'm going to break the text apart and then just hold down my control button and just nudge by hand. Now on this one, I'm going to convert it to a curve. Then I'm going to break the curve apart in the same thing. And I'm going to show you the difference in why I'm doing it. Okay, we've broken it apart. Our weld tools still don't come up yet. So we need to go to object convert to curves, weld, and it welded it great. This, the weld tools have already come up because we've already converted to a curve, but we did this one differently. Now watch the difference. It's taken out our centers. Now this is the way I've always done it. I don't know that this always works and this always works. So let's just back up here and, and the way to do that, I've got my nudge factor set on, let's just set it on three inches. I'm going to grab that shape, which is the inner of the E and the inner part, and hold down your your shift key. And just, it'd be better to go control G and group those together. Move them out of the way. Lasso all those. Weld it. Click that back, and you're done. So it's two different ways. This was done by breaking the text apart, and this was done with curves. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.